Hello everyone. Welcome to Hello Grace. In this video, we are going to learn how to classify documents using document understanding in UiPath. In my previous tutorial, we learned how to use taxonomy manager, load taxonomy activity and digitize document. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to classify your documents. Before that, we need to understand what is the classification. Assume that we have 1000 PDF or any other documents with a different format as a contract, offer letter, invoice, purchase order, balance sheet and so on. Now I want to split the files based on document category. This is the place we call document classification in this UiPath document understanding concept. I hope you are clear with what is document classification. Let's get start with practice. Go to UiPath studio. Look at here. Already we have covered taxonomy manager, load taxonomy activity and digitize document in our previous tutorial. If you are new to this, please go and watch it before you start this session. Go to activity search bar, type document understanding. Look at here, under the classifiers, we have different types of classifiers. Let's see one by one. First, we are going to try keyword based classifiers in this tutorial. In order to use this activity, you have to use classify document scope activity first. Let me remove this. Let's drag and drop classify document scope activity into workflow designer panel. Look at here, we have four input parameter and one output parameter in this classify document scope activity. For all this input parameter, we have to supply input. Am I right? We already generated those input in our previous tutorial that you can see in the above activities. This classified document scope activity takes this activity output as input. Let's supply one by one. In the document path, call the document path variable that is str underscore file path. In the document text field, call the document text variable that is doc underscore text. In the document object model field, call the document object model variable that is doc underscore object model. In the taxonomy field, call the taxonomy variable which we created in load taxonomy activity that is json underscore taxonomy. Let's create a variable to store classification result. I will name it as doc underscore classification result. We are almost done. In this classifier field, drag and drop keyword based classifier. In this learning path, we must provide a JSON file path to store the keyword of document classification. Let me go to project panel, click on document processing folder. We have a JSON file. Just copy this JSON file, paste it here and rename it. I will name it keyword.json. Then clear all the existing JSON data, right click on this and go to edit notepad, select the entire data and delete it. Then save it. The concept is we have to create a new JSON file to store our keywords. Let's go back to the studio. In the learning file path, click on the browse file icon. 
then select keyword.json file path now we have provided learning file path we have one more step that is manage learning click on manage learning you will get manage keyword based classifier learning window this is the place we are going to provide our document keywords to classify specific document types look at here we have two documents invoice and purchase order which we already defined in the taxonomy manager add the keyword to identify both the documents let me add the keywords of invoice click on add new keyword set i will add invoice within double quotes as my first keyword again click on add new keyword set add a new keyword balance due and add one more keyword that is the invoice date either you can provide keywords like this or you can provide any one of the above mentioned format this keyword is enough to identify the invoice document let's move on to purchase order document click on add new keyword set supply the keyword to identify the purchase order i will give purchase order po vendor and delivery to identify purchase order document now click on save we are done let's check whether these keywords are registered in the keyword json file let's open the json file look at this format very carefully the document type id created as elograce.finance.invoice which means we have a group under the group we have a category and under the category we have a document type followed by we have the keywords which we defined in the manage learning let's close this we have one more step click on configure classifiers here we have two document type this is the place we are going to specify the document type which need to be classified i will choose both the documents and also you can provide minimum confidence score of your document keywords here and click on save now we are done let's check the output drag and drop message box activity call the classification result variable and followed by place 0 with open and close bracket then add a dot and followed by type document type id it's nothing but it will retrieve the document type from the keyword json file let me add one more message box copy and paste it the same format then change document id instead of document type id this is just to differentiate the output let's go on run the process before that look at here we have provided the invoice document as a input let's run the execution is started Look at this pop-up window. It's showing elograce.finance.invoice because in the message box we have given document type ID, which means as you provided input document, 
related to invoice format and click on ok now again look at this window it gives a file name and file name type because in the message box we have given document id let's run the bot once again with a different input file let me add a purchase order document path let's run the process look at this output it says the given input document matches with the purchase order and it's showing file name and file type till now we have seen how to group document structure using taxonomy manager we have seen load taxonomy activity and seen how to digitize document now we have learned how to classify your document in the next tutorial we will see how to extract data from the classified documents using different data extractor i hope you are clear on this topic thank you for watching please do subscribe and support connect with us for more tutorials.